Don't be fooled by this adorable store. They are pulling in over $20,000 every single month with their awesome Waller and you don't need to have any photography skills to do this yourself. I'm going to show you how. I'm Jess at Insights by Jess. I dig deep into what makes Etsy store successful and where they can improve so that you get the full 411 on what's really selling and why. Let's jump in. Welcome back to my channel and I am stoked to do this store. I love this store. This is a great store. They are so beautiful and they have found an amazing way to bring their love of photography into their career. But you do not need to be a good photographer to do a store like this. In fact, I'm going to show you at the end of this video how to make some examples of very similar prints that I was able to make in less than five minutes for free. But before we dig too deep into this store, this store is called Leela and Lola, and they are based in Australia. We're going to take a peek at their Etsy store stats. So this store has just over 146,000 sales, which is insanely impressive. And this is not a new store by any means. This is a well-established store. They are based from, well, their first feedback anyways, is from August of 2015. So this is a well-established store. They've really proven that this niche is working and it's not going anywhere. It is here to stay. Taking into account that their average product price is approximately, try not to get too dizzy as I scroll, approximately $12, they have an average annual sales amount of about $240 thousand dollars a year and that is very conservative because that is just taking all of their sales at about twelve dollars each and dividing it among all of the years that they have been open which off the top of my head is around eight years or so i think sorry i'm not so great at math without a spreadsheet in front of me but i think it's about eight years so to be pulling in over a almost a quarter of a million dollars a year is really conservative, honestly, because it probably took them time to grow the store up and to build these sales up. So they're probably over that quarter of a million dollar mark. Let's take a look at their storefront. As we can see, their photos are absolutely beautiful. They have the cutest little animals and a lot of these are very, very popular. I think they either are a fantastic photographer or they have access to somebody who is a fantastic photographer and also access to some adorable little animals. Maybe they work in a zoo or something of that nature. In fact, let's go down to their about and see if they tell us how they get these amazing photography. Okay, so they don't say exactly how they get access to these animals, but they do say that they live in Australia, that they do have a little vintage caravan that they love to take around and explore the mountain region in Victoria and various road trips around Australia. So that is potentially how they're able to capture photos of these animals. But these are not simple photos. They have had the backgrounds removed so that there is a white background and it is focusing simply on the animal itself. And like I said before, without spoiling it too much, I'm gonna show you how to do that in... <clears throat> All right, so sorry, there was a slight interruption there. I think I did the classic nerd move of choking on my own spit and about died. I think my life flashed before my eyes, so had to take a little break. If you're wondering why my voice sounds a little funny, it's because I almost died on my own spit. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to the video. Sorry. <clears throat> so this, these listings, these beautiful, beautiful photographs focus specifically on the animal. There's no distracting background and they are awesome. They are beautiful. Let's take a closer look at one of the best sellers. This is a very simple set of two prints. They are bunny rabbits and they are stinking adorable. Super, super cute, right? I absolutely love these. With their title, I can already see it looks a bit short. 
<clears throat> and that could just be because my eyes are playing tricks on me. They are a bit watery right now. <laughs> I wonder why. Um, okay, so 103 characters. When I pull this into my workbook here, they do have about 35, 37 more characters that they could be taking advantage of in their title. So that is a little bit of an opportunity lost. And looking at this title here, I can see off the top of my head a few words that they could potentially capitalize on. They could be talking about this being for a children's room. They do say nursery wall art here, but what if you want it for your children's room or your playroom? Or what if you are, um, you don't necessarily think to call it a nursery? What if you're searching for your baby's room, baby room decor? <clears throat> there are some definite rooms is some definite room for those types of words in here. You could also use words like farm or barn because these are farm animals. Or you could even use the word rabbit. So there's a lot of different options there for the words that you can choose. The words that they do have in this title are well done. So kudos for the animals or the words that they thought of here. They do have a bunny print set of two, nursery wall art, woodland baby animal posters, and they do specify that it is printable, instant downloadable, which is fantastic. So <clears throat> let's take a peek here at their description. They have an adorable appeal statement here. I love their appeal statement and it incorporates all of their important keywords. So it says, foster your child's love for animals with these adorable bunny wall art prints assured to charm any nursery or bedroom. So this is fantastic. They've got all those most important words right there in that first sentence, ready to roll. I love this. And that kind of brings me up to an interesting topic of debate here. I was recently told in a group chat, I was trying to answer a question and be helpful. I was recently told that repeating your important keywords is a waste of your opportunities and a waste of your visibility, and that no smart person would ever repeat keywords in their titles, tags, and description. I'm gonna give you just a straightforward disclaimer that there are very many different approaches and strategies that can sell well on Etsy. It is not one size fits all. And that when I make these videos, <clears throat> I do give you my personal opinion and I give you what I have done that works and what I see that works. So it is not the only way to do it. And I definitely wanna make that clear. I don't ever want somebody to say, oh, well, what I'm doing is wrong. I need to change everything because if what you're doing is working, then it's not wrong. But it is probably more important, no matter what strategy you may think is the best, to look at what other successful sellers do, right? If you look at all of the review videos I've done so far, or all of the successful Etsy sellers that you can find on your own, we have not yet encountered a single one who uses totally unique keywords in their tags, titles, and description. We have seen time and time again that some of these words are going to be repeated. For example, nursery wall art is going to be here. Here you have nursery wall art. And I want to clarify, I am not saying to take your title and copy it and then paste it down in your description and just exactly repeat yourself. But what I am saying is to take your most important words and put them in those three places, in your titles, in your tags, and in your description. It may be that there are other ways to do it. You may have great success using only unique words without any repetition. I have yet to see that. So please, if you know of a seller that is doing it that way, please comment it below so that I can check it out. I would love to see more strategies in use. I would love to see other ways to do things so that I can show them to you guys and you guys can have as many options as possible because that is the whole goal, right? We wanna grow and we wanna do as best as we can. So please let me know if you see that. <clears throat> On that token, let's check out the tags for this listing. Scrolling down here, we can see some really cute little tags. Nursery wall art, 
like I said before, those three words there, um, digital download, printable wall art, instant downloadable, I'm waiting for the little tag to pop up here, instant downloadable, I guess that's the whole tag, bunny print set, gender neutral, woodland decor, bunny wall art set, baby's playroom, there's those words I suggested before, cute print set of two, Child kid children room, rabbit picture photo, baby animal poster. So some of those words that I did suggest about adding to this short title here are in their tags. So they do have <clears throat> those keywords in here somewhere, which is fantastic. I love that they have thought to add them. And I would really love to see them pull some of those words up into their title to get a little bit more visibility. But one of the things that is working the most for this store is that they are a well-established store. And we're gonna see that as we go through these photos here. This is a really cute little wall example of the pictures on a nursery wall. And they have this little badge here that says the original nursery animals. And that makes a lot of sense because they're from 2015. They may be one of the first people ever featuring pictures like this on Etsy. Here's another example, another example, another example, and then they have the two kind of showcased as solo pictures here. Then they have a smart infographic type of photo. This one just kind of explains that you can print this at home or visit a printing service. You can print it on paper and frame it, or you can even have it printed on a, another product like a canvas or a wall tapestry. I love that they say that free custom sizes are also available. So if you want a size that's not necessarily offered here, they will change the size for you for free. I love that. I don't really dig the quote that's at the beginning of here. It's a beautiful quote, but I think it distracts from the fact that this is helpful information. So I would probably move that to the bottom. Otherwise, I love this. This is a smart photo. Let's look at their last photo though. This says that they are established in 2015 and that they are Australia's number one Etsy store with a track record of quality artworks and helpful customer service. Now this is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant because they are really explaining to you that their customer service and their art quality is superior. And when you see that, I don't know about you, but the first place my eyes jump to is these review stars right here. And you can see that they have a five star average. All five stars are totally filled up. And that really backs up what they're saying here. It makes me feel more confident. Okay, I can buy this. I know it's gonna be good quality. And I know that if I have an issue, they are going to be helpful in resolving that issue. So this is a safe purchase to make. I absolutely love that. I think it's super, super smart. Another reason I wanted to save these photos for last is because they have these really cute nursery photos. <clears throat> Man, my voice is still not working with me after I almost died. Death by spit ball there. Um, let's look at this photo here. If we take a peek close up, we can see that there's a child here and it's kind of peeking around the crib. And so it's giving off like a really sweet, playful kind of vibe. And I am pointing this out because you cannot see this child's face. And that is a really important part of buyer psychology. So in an example photo like this, it comes across with a certain type of an emotion, you know, a calming, cute, peaceful, like perfect nursery kind of vibe. I love this vibe, but it's important that the face is not showing. And we also see this a lot in best-selling jewelry stores, not showing the face or cropping the eyes off so that they can't see the whole face at least. And that's because it's been shown in research to get a better response from buyers. It is easier to envision yourself wearing the product or envision your nursery or your child enjoying these pictures, for example. And this is also a big rule for Pinterest pins also. So if you are putting together images like this, opt for the ones that do not show a face it will statistically do better and draw more sales than one that does have a face on it. So I just wanted to give you that little bit of 
of buyer psychology research. And while I'm on the topic of Pinterest, <clears throat> if you're not using Pinterest, if you're um, maybe not sure how to do it or you don't have the time to set up pins and create you know, pin templates and all of this crazy stuff, I have a little bit of a, a shortcut for you. There is a Chrome browser extension for Pinterest that will let you pin things directly from Chrome. And in fact, you can just, you can see it right here in my browser. And when I click this, what is going to happen? Let's see if it works while I have it go out of here. So it lets you save an idea to Pinterest. So you can actually click multiple of these photos and it is going to save these as separate pins in my Pinterest. Now, if I click next, I can choose which board I wanna save it to and that's it. It's easy peasy done. It takes literally five seconds. So I want you to download this extension um, it's totally free to use. Sign into your Pinterest account and then maybe like once a week or once a month, depending on how much time you have, open up your store tabs, open up your listing tabs just like this and click that extension and pin your pins. It really does drive a lot of sales. Etsy is one of the best selling websites from Pinterest. Pinterest is a massive source of traffic for Etsy. So take advantage of that. I just wanted to point that out because it is a valuable um, way to capitalize on more traffic for free. Okay, so I think we have covered everything about this listing that I wanted to cover. Let's go to this one. And I just wanna really quickly go over this one because it is an Etsy's pick. And we do see this, I've shown a few videos now that have Etsy picks and a lot of these do come from very, very popular um, listings. And I have noticed that some of these do tend to be older listings that sell consistently over and over again. This one is actually of a horse and they've done a pretty good job with their SEO. I'm not gonna dig too much into their SEO, but I will show you briefly here, whoops. Okay, that it's basically capitalizes on the words that it's a horse, it's digital print, it's a wall art, all of those same great words. It's also black and white, which is really popular um, for wall art to be black and white. So this is a really great listing. And I just kind of want to show that to you as an example that it's not all just bunny stuff. They do have a wide variety of different animals. And you can see some random stuff like cactus. Right now they have a Santa over the moon that is really popular because of Christmas, but just a little bit of a variety. This one they've given a colored background. They have a giraffe here, you know, so it's more than just cute little bunnies. And this is the part of the video where I'm going to tell you how you can do something like this for yourself. And I'm going to disclaimer that ahead of time that you should never directly copy anyone. You always wanna put your own personality into this, into anything you sell really, because that's what's ultimately going to attract buyers to your store is what you bring to the space that makes it unique. But without ever needing to see an animal in real life or even have a camera, you could do wall art, like similar to this. <clears throat> so let's open Canva here. And I already have some created just to save some time. I took some time here and I searched for bunny and all kinds of things pop up. If I go to photo, you can see all these cute, adorable little bunnies. And so I picked some and I put them together. And then for this particular one, I added some words because I didn't want it to be just like the other store. I would want mine to be unique, right? So this is cute. You may or may not like it better than the plain bunnies, but there's lots of options here. So this is a puppy. This is a kitten and you could really figure out pretty much any animal that you want to display here. You can just set the canvas size to the wall art you want and you can create some really, really beautiful images here in just a few minutes. It's fast, it's easy, and most of all, it's free. And some of these are going to be paid images. So you can see the little crown that says pro here. Some of these cost money to use and some of them don't. 
for example, this one is a free one. This is a really beautiful horse. Absolutely gorgeous. If I was a horse lover and I was going to frame something and put it on my wall, this would be a strong contender because it's absolutely stunning. And you can access this image for free in Canva. If you put a frame around it, if you put a quote with it, then you can make it unique. There's lots of different ideas that buyers may respond well to. You can really play around and put your own personality and your own uniqueness into this type of concept. So that's really what makes digital design so fun is that even though there is a lot of digital design sellers on Etsy, you can really be creative and you can really use your passion and your own personal preferences to make it different and to make it something that really does add to the digital download space on Etsy. So if you don't already have Canva or if you don't have Canva Pro, you can use my affiliate link down in the video description and get like a 30 day free trial and just make a bunch to get yourself started. If you sell them well and you wanna keep the Pro, you can, but if not, just cancel it before the 30 days or just use the free images. There is a pretty big selection of those. And if you're not a big fan of photography, no worries, I've actually got a massive, massive list of 21 digital product stores that you can check out that all make six figures and beyond. You can watch that insanely mind-blowing video right here.